they get called back into their original calling? I mean, you don't they all sort of head back in that direction even after they wipe their memories? I mean, th- is that what you said earlier that they will go back to that just as different people? Mm-hmm. If uh, if they have the mental strength, of course they'll go back. That's that's always a gamble, though. Mm. Mm. It depends on what their contracts were with their personas at the time. Mm. Well, they- we certainly don't have the ability to be jailers either. Although I am loath to say that we should simply cast them out. Very well. Um, if you're posing these questions, do you have any p- proposed solutions for them? I might have one. The church. They know what kind of people these are, and even though these people have wiped their memories, they've still done the crimes that, against them. And they have a system where, where I doubt they kill people. I doubt they have, I doubt they have any kind of um, execution, but they do have an authority system, and they do have a and they do have a justice system. It might not necessarily yeah. be ours. We might not. Well, will say there are there are fates that are worse than death. <sighs> that seems rather cruel, but uh, it's not of my concern really. They're nothing special to me. They're just bodies. But if you want to, if you want to dabble in the church, if you got hot under the colour dealing with Umberhawk, it's very much a neutral party. Well, you might be more than just a little bit naive. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I missed that last bit. If basically you're saying like if you got ma- if you got mad at Umberhawk, then the church is even more stiff. Mm. I. I am proposing it as basically a way of dealing with these people as opposed to letting them, simply letting them go once their memories are wiped and inevitably having them return to, the, uh, return to their uh, brethren. I figure basically some sort of penance for their actions and rejection of basically our future enemies is a good idea. Unless mm. the church will ex- basically say, I doubt, I somehow doubt that, mm, I'll, of I'm co- getting frustrated. More of course, the they're not going to turn them down. That's the point. But the, I guess, I guess it kind of flew over your head. But the point I was making is whether you want to, whether you want to condemn them, to condemn these people to them. But like I said, it doesn't really much matter. I'm only here for information. Well, there are for fates worse than death. Death is not a fate I can basically easily dull out cold-bloodedly. And it's not really one that we're going to do. Ah. Hmm. But let me think. Well, how long could we keep them, even if we've interrogated them by tomorrow? Would it be possible to, say, hold them until... Hmm, sometime early next week? <sighs> if you're willing to split the credits. That would be fine. Uh, I personally, well, reside in Jeffrey myself. I don't have a home. So I'll yeah. be able to keep an eye on your friends. But uh, I do have a time frame, and then when things seem useless, I usually send them off to my contact, and they make their way back into the world, or they crawl back to where, to whatever hole in the ground they came from. Mm. Right. Either way, if I encounter them... Im- if I encounter them myself, I, I get more information and then the cycle repeats itself. Well, the point is we're thinking three steps ahead on something, but at that point there's an easy, a few easy answers. At the moment, the primary concern is we do need to set up to interrogate them. Well, well like I said, I can, we can always rent a room in Jeffrey unless you have your own personal domain. It's not equipped to hold prisoners at the moment. Mm. Well, the first and obvious thing is, can we keep these guys asleep? Obviously, we can take, we can check them out of Umberhawk whenever we want, according to you, Hollow. Next stage is basically, can we keep them under for long enough for us to get in to interrogate them? 
Oh, yes, it can be. Unless somebody has a natural ability to induce sleep, it'll be quite expensive. We can always buy sleep droughts from from Jeffrey. Raph, have you ever seen my powers? (laughs) Uh, I don't know how long or what to what extent they would be useful. That's I do. I don't know. I mean, we're talking hours here. It's not very taxing for me to do that ability. So if I have to, I can skip classes tomorrow. Shax. Yes? Could you give me an estimate? With my current abilities, how long would a single use keep them under? Oh, as long as they're harmless. A single use, lose a couple hours. A couple hours? Then it's something that can be applied in doses throughout the day, then. Mm, yes, but it, remember that there's not much of an internal well, at least not as you are at the moment. You haven't been exactly flexing your magical muscle. But it will work, yes? Oh, yes, it will. Very well. <sighs> There, all our immediately problems are taken into account, but, and he'll turn to Hollow, in the manner of what to do with them afterwards, whether it's some kind of long-term imprisonment or some kind of rehabilitative work, or, as you helpfully pointed out, the illegal murder, we'll have to discuss with some of our other members. Mm. So is that all you need me for? Yes. Right. And, uh... I do have a, um, I'll just kind of take out like a trinket. It will be like a, something I picked up. Uh, you know how Jeffrey works, don't you? I'm just going to assume yes, and even if I don't, Rio would just say yes. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, if, you wish to, if you wish to send messages through me, do it through this demon. Jeffrey only recognizes people by their personas. Or demons that are attached to them. Very well. And just take the trinket. It's not as powerful as your full card, but any mythological being can work. Yes. Well, ah, thank you for your assistance in this. As with the last few times, you've been ever helpful. <sighs> Maybe one day, uh, well... Well, you'll be, I'll be on the other side. Mm. Well, in that case, I'd like to work with you as much as possible beforehand so I have a good grasp of your abilities. Mm. Maybe maybe there is some hope with you lot after all. Mm. Right, well then. <sighs> and uh, that's good, right? Mm. Uh, and... Uh, uh, just a just a um, word of advice for uh, for the um, for for Mister Dark there. Uh, try not to burn too many bridges, and uh, she'll just she'll just jump off and just kind of stalk away. <sighs> All right, and when she's gone, Raph will turn. Rio will turn to <laughs> Raph. God damn it! So many N's and R's. It happens. And say, and say yep. excellent work laying the groundwork for this. Oh. Four matters yeah. of what to do with them afterwards. He's not going to give Raph a moment to spout anything else. He's just going to go into yeah. the next topic. We will need to talk with people about what feasibly could happen. I'm not sure how much assistance she can tell us, but Himiko is an expert in mythopoetic crimes handled in a normal way, so we definitely need to consult with her. And as for turning them over to the church, we should also speak with experts on that matter. Although, we don't really know anyone inside, so unless you would like to use your next meeting with the people as a way to go about that, although then again we don't know how biased they would be, We'd need to get something from both sides, or at least a side that is somewhat skeptical of them, but not so much as hollow. Mm. And of course, there is always the matter that, well, there may be some organizations in the city that might be able to deal with this stuff, and we simply need to look into them. Perhaps hollow know of one, and that was the source she was talking about. And at the end of the day, 
Far before we get to any unnecessary murder, and hmm. most of it is unnecessary, there is the option that, well, we would have to persuade the others, but they would live if they no longer had their personas. The problem is they, they won't. The second they basically wake up, they'll cut their ties and basically wipe everything, including their, perso- their present personas. They'll remove the, they cut themselves from the deal, and then they go and find themselves again and remake a deal with a new persona. That's why they're so difficult to fight. And in that case, if it comes down to it that we have to render them absent of it, we'll use the full card before they awaken. Although that is a last resort measure. Yeah. Alright. Thanks. I just... Uh, I just... It was just... I don't know how you were able to keep your calm on this. I just could not handle it any longer. Hmm. All no, right. it's not a problem. It's just... Well, I mean... Well, it would be nice to get all the assistance we want... It's never going to happen. So just, take what we seemed, can get. It just seemed to me basically when somebody when somebody is starving and asking for an apple and you try to hand it to them, they say, "No, I don't want this apple. Please give me an apple." It just I just can't handle it. Anyway, sorry for bugging you. I got I got I got some more um, Sandman. I got to start that project now. Oh, very well. And it was no bother at all. If you ever need a similar thing in the future, well. Do try to keep it relevant to my interests as well, but at the end of the day, you do have some social credit to use with me. And he'll honestly give him a smirk, being like, you're an idiot. <laughs> and then says, and if I need anything hit, I will call you if Ryu isn't around. Good enough. No, right. no he isn't. All right. All right. So, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to be basically going uh, AFK for a while. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Umber Hawker dicks. <laughs> oh, good lord, man. Wow. I'm trying to know. No, no, no. Umber Hawk is Umber Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. It really is. I mean. They are Libertarians Switzerland. Enough said. No, there are Switzerland that basically happen to be flying. Basically, uh, I won't even go into it. Anyway, I, yeah, I'll be back in a, be right back. Okay. So, if I could just have like five minutes when that's all done, Rio would say, Shax. (laughs) Does he make that sound now? Is that canon? Yes. <laughs> All right. That's beautiful. <sighs> what do you mean there won't be an internal swirl? Mm, when did I say that? When I asked about keeping them unconscious. Really? What did I mean by that? <laughs> I. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's I don't I- know. What did I did I say that? Yeah, there'd be no internal motion swirls something because I wasn't using I wasn't really like practicing my magic. Oh, I'm just he was just saying that you're shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Sucks being sucks, apparently. <sighs> and besides constant use, there's no real way you're going to tell me I could train that, is there? Oh, if you want to spill about mythopoetics, then mm, you're better off going. You're better off going to the Eastern King, or, or even the even the Drell statue maker. I'm not one for lectures myself. I have already tried that once, and you very much refused my advice. <sighs> yes, well. I've heard the spiel. I don't think it'll be much of a problem tomorrow. If you were not lying about it lasting a few hours at a time. Mm, Well, I do admit it would be interesting. Well, uh, maybe I have... uh, Maybe I have a reason to not lie. 
Well, maybe yeah. I don't. I see. Mm. <sighs> the maybe oh. is the real consistency here. Yes, it always is with you. So there isn't any way I can go about any kind of like thinks for a moment and then kind of chokes out the words make myself stronger besides just doing what I already am. Well, I believe that you were already guided by by a kin, though why is going remarkably slowly. I tell uh, you what. Uh, are you serious about this whole lot? Are you just saying one thing and then walking the other way? I'm honestly curious, Shax. From your perspective, have I done that before? Very oh, often. Oh, many times before. Hmm? Many times before. It's a wonder why you keep so fit and trim, even though you're so sedentary. Could I get an example? Mm, I said I wasn't one for lectures. But, mm. but I will I will ask you this. Uh, when you stand next to when you stand next to the beast, do you feel inferior or do you feel like you're on an equal level? The beast. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, or maybe something that you're more familiar was the lapdog. Ah, right. Yeah, at this point, it's like Rio is thinking he could either mean Ryu or Raph. Probably means Ryu, but there is a ten percent chance it could be Raph, and he'll think and say, mm, "Well, if I'm going to be realistic, then yes, I do believe that in." The way I'm speaking about now, I'm inferior to them. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It would be like, uh, mm. you're uncertain as to who I'm talking about, which is a problem. I suppose it kind of expounds my point. Now, I'll give you, I'll give you an example that's less, that's less uh, obscure. You, uh, you, uh, when we first started this all, you wished to you wished to immerse yourself in within magic, did you not? You specifically asked for my tutelage back when we were in the we were, we were in the sickly vision. All right, I'll just go forward for this in a moment. Yes, I did, and then you never told me anything to do. I haven't told you no, but I've been trying. I've been uh, well. I like to give you things that are symbolic. You've not picked up on any of the meanings, but anyway, uh, enough red herrings. Uh, I was talking about the magician. Ah, still no idea because he hasn't looked at Raf's card. <sighs> this. Oh, wait, mm. no, he would know because Shin gave it to him. All right. Uh, very well. Carry on, please. Now that I know who you're speaking of. Well, yes. Uh, it, it makes me cringe, but uh, for all of that wasted potential, there is at least something there that's recently burned brighter after... Well, the recent discoveries has gone through, and well, you haven't really discovered anything much about yourself, only about other people. You haven't really changed much. You still stay the same. <sighs> Ever as cryptic as always. Mm. I believe I believe it's best that uh, when it comes to these things, uh, discovering for yourself rather than being led down a path leads to a leads to a stronger result. Creativity is the force, uh, maybe a foreign word in your dictionary. I see. Well, I do believe that we've abandoned any topics I might have wished to speak of earlier.
Mm. Is there anything else you wish to say? Mm. Well, well, what were we talking about again? <sighs> the topic of improving. Oh, that old thing. Well, I believe you were given an olive branch and you've just let it sit there. Soon it will wilt and not be and not be grown properly. An olive branch for just today I managed to get a bit closer to. Hmm. You did you did uh, you did wait and but uh, but you did forcefully bow your head. Yes. <sighs> Time goes by so quickly. Very well. I'm not going to get any useful information out of you, so if you're spending too much time here, you may go. Well, mm. I'm going to go anyways. It all rests within that girl, you know. Within that girl? Hmm. Goodbye, Shax. <laughs> do, you just, do you just ignore him now? Yes. All right, he's ignored. <laughs> I'm getting a new persona. <laughs> You're never going to get a straight answer from him. Why do you try? <laughs> yeah, man. You only get a gay answer. The trans answer. You don't even Call know which girl night. he was talking about. No. That's the best part. Just call it a night. It'll be for the best. <laughs> yeah, right. I have nothing else. The longer you argue with him, the longer you'll get confused. <laughs> That's why I said he's ignored now. <laughs> the scene's over. Alright. Oh, you so. <laughs> you so. Oh. Yes. Alright. He wants to be the only bird in the village. <laughs> what Ooh. does that mean? Hell yeah. Except for his little birds that he fucks. Uh, yeah. His little fledglings. Too bad his Kahari. little children. Too bad Moe's female. But anyway, is mm -hmm. that it? Yes. For the night? Yeah. We can go on to Thursday? Yeah, I was just going to finish Yay. that an hour of studying. Yeah. An hour of studying. All right. All right, I want an hour of studying. You can have I an hour of studying. Thanks. I figure Ryu would probably get in three. Yeah, Ryu's gone fuck all. He's just like, hi, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> all right. Jizik is, do, is doing some studying as well. She, uh, we she's not study together. <laughs> All right, she would have started studying like she would have been like, "Akira, come study," and then she went to go talk to Raph, and she's like, "God damn it!" <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Thank God, Raph. <laughs> right. <laughs> Slanted. Yeah, of course it is. I did that on purpose. Maybe <laughs> Suzuka drew a cat. Here it's been hours. It's supposed to be doing etymology. Oh. It's a nice What's cat. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd learn about animals by drawing them. <sighs> Look, it's a cat and a bear. Get it? It's about the study of animals and how they behave in a natural environment. They just get along, right? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we can finally stop playing Beautiful Dead, at least for me. Holy shit. Right. Yeah, I switched to It Ain't No Easy Love at the raft part and Akira because it was just chill door music. 
Ooh. Now I want to open the Whoops. 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 Right, you went you AFK go. during my game. That means no side chessing for you. Just fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like right. it ever happened anyway. Alright, is everybody alive apart from Dave? Yes. Should I be. am. Uh-huh. Alright. Normally Thursday morning after two hours of Wednesday night. Yeah, it's easy to say. It'll just roll in the morning for food lag if it's necessary. Um. Yeah, you guys didn't really address the topic. Hi. Come on, Suzuki. Yeah, buddy. Eh, eh, eh. God. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> oh, reverse. Sweet. <laughs> Shit, I was going to say we'll just assume the run goes normally. <laughs> Get reversed. Alright, Suzuki's feeling pretty good, you know. Akira finally studied. Maybe she won't fail this time. <laughs> Meanwhile, Akira in her room feels like hot garbage. <laughs> I was going to say, after all the exercise that Ryu put her through, she's feeling good. There's something wrong here. She got things done. She's finally feeling the endorphins. Jess wasn't letting her feel. The body, when your body's all sore, but it feels good sore. Alright, Suzuki will wait out. Uh, wait outside when it's about the time for the run. Another fresh new day. Hi, Reiko. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Are you ready? I'm. <laughs> God damn it, the urge. When someone's asking me if I'm ready, the urge to quote Blade, I'm bo I was born ready, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Reiko doesn't say that. <laughs> oh, you know me. In the morning, I'm always ready. Kaharu! Alright. Alright, are you ready? Damn it. Hey, Kaharu, don't jump out of the window! <laughs> oh, shit! My bad. <laughs> Kaharu! Yeah, oh, most learning works! Huh. Uh, I should say that time Akira is up. Huh, should we check up on her? <laughs> Group walk up. RT walk over. <laughs> yeah, there is. Akira! Akira oh. drags herself over and just opens the door. She just looks. <laughs> she looks like bloodshot eyes. Just looks tired. Oh, mm -hmm. you didn't sleep too well? Sleep too well. Yeah, you could say that. What time is it? I mean, the usual for our running. 5 a.m. Oh shit, it's that early already? Uh, give him a minute, I guess. Just closes the door. I shrug. I mean, sure, we can wait for minutes. Wait the wait! Mm -hmm. I mean, we're waiting! It would just be just impolite to stack up at her door like a SWAT team. <laughs> okay, last, last week I don't say in character. <laughs> hmm, I don't think I have any good energy drink on myself to help you out, Akira. Koharu, make one! Koharu? Uh oh, went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, Akira, hey. Okay, all right, enough of this RP walking. Fuck sake. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Enough fun. Let's, let's go on the run, buddy boys. Mm. Hey. Oh, okay. Carl, thank you, Carl. Jess, are you what the fuck? What? what the fuck was that, Jess? So I got, she got two favors. Oh, okay. And Kira got a negative favor if she's still linking up with Kahoo. 
Yeah, I don't see why not. Hell okay. yeah. Time yeah. to roll. <clears throat> and just so you know, I don't really have much of an idea for what to talk about. Just usual. Small, yeah, no, I think. A... Yeah, we don't need to do anything for this one. Akira's just kind of slumped behind. She's just going on autopilot. <laughs> She's not exactly making conversation too well. Holy shit! Wow, 53. Wow, two turns. <laughs> Say I'm thanks to me. I'm, I'm the fucking original. You t you better fucking watch out. You don't step on my territory. <laughs> <laughs> I use negative I'm I'm oh, Let's see. Fucking Mo. Get it, blank. This is like my fucking same sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Akira saw her head. It's part of the link up side effect. She's hearing her true thoughts. <laughs> hey. well, Akira falls behind in line with Shizuka today. Not oh, no worries, with me too. I. Oh. I didn't Bad. really. Ro I, I rode lower than you, so yeah, I'm not I'm not sprinting in way in front. I'm just like. Huh, must be, must be a day. <laughs> Maybe. The air is not 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 as light, light as I thought. <laughs> Kahawu, Kahawu, Kahawu. All right, good run. Good talk, everyone. <laughs> All right, we're back now. <laughs> Listen, we got a lot of day to cover. All right, it was fun. Yeah, if we are not going for breakfast in school, I am fine to help with kitchen. Kahawu, help with Kahawu. kitchen. She doesn't mind, does she? She gives you the bite bead eye, but she doesn't mind on the surface. Suzuka, don't sit on the uh, back, but I might disappear every once in a while because I gotta eat. I mean, <laughs> I, I helped her beforehand and she was cool with it. So we're already on to uh, breakfast? Yeah. Got it. Yes. Holy shit, I probably won't be able to beat that. Don't- yeah, there's also an extra 20 in there because of, uh, links, social links. Because we're helping. So that's oh, no. Buzzy, then I'm... The Ain't, then I'm gonna go with, uh... Yeah, cooking knowledge and spend one PP because this is a new day to add my add my diligence. And okay, here, Akira got another negative favor unless you don't count. Yeah, hell yeah, negative favor. And my cooking is thirteen. Uh, thirteen, not thirteen. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> wow, Raf's helping as well. Shit. Good work, kitchen crew. Oh, I... Remember they're I, making a special, if... uh... <laughs> yeah, remember, uh... Um, Rhea, you got an extra plus 10 or plus 20 because of social links. You get you add that too. Probably to plus 10. Help. Last I check, I have social link free with everyone. From player characters. Yep, so yeah. plus 10. So that's 130 from me. Yep. Hi. Right. It's a very nice fucking breakfast, and yeah. Karu leads the way. <laughs> Karu, Karu, we gotta beat Karu, and Rio is here. Na, 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 yep. na, 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 na. Bon appetit! Right, so, yeah, so while we're eating, or actually, Raph will wait till after eating, cause he's, he, but he will say, I found some stuff out about Shin yesterday, but let's figure, well, not while we were directly eating. Raph, you're shouting so far away from your room. <laughs> oh, I might want to come and actually eat if you're going to talk to us. <laughs> uh, he just had basically, he was just basically had a little walkie talkie and was telling Kuda how to translate everything. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, there's a trap in the garden now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Akira, what are you doing with Raph at the table? Akira's just like slumped over at the table. Kahawu. <laughs> <laughs> Kahawu, move the fuck out of the way! 
Hmm. Anyway, Akira, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, yeah, You're yeah, sleeping it's... in your mashed potatoes. It's... Oh, it's, it's fine. Irish tradition. It's <laughs> us. Oh, it's oh. I... Mm. Scratch Is it Irish my... tradition? Do we like your cat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eat like your friends do or something, Mom said. <laughs> Glinda's good using to know who you paws. consider your friends. Glinda's mm. using her paws to eat. Yeah, don't just just like sat on Akira's head on the table either. Mm. Sat on her head? No, she's taking from Akira's plate if nobody sent her out a plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akira's not fighting it. She's like <laughs> half asleep on the table. Gandalf will be like, that's really unhygienic. <laughs> I'm sure she washed her paws beforehand. Hey, she's a person too. Hmm. Wouldn't be anything but or is anything but unhygienic. She's a cat. They clean themselves. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what did you learn? Something right. that will let us help, Shin? Um. Maybe. Yeah, um, as I've mentioned before several times, I my one of the tricks he's taught me is how to basically sort of feel and manipulate things around us. Well, I asked him ahead of time if it was okay, and he basically did sort of the a down shin kind of, yeah, whatever, it's not going to help, which is kind of depressing. Um, but with a little help from Kaharu at a distance, I was able to get a pretty good read about his... Basically about why he's so sick all the time. The short end of it is he's his body is acting as if it was if it's been greatly aged. I mean, either he is very old and somehow just doesn't look it, or everything that his what he's doing, his power is just draining his body to the point that he is as frail as he is just because of the aging it's been doing. So it really is. His whatever he's doing is draining his body greatly. I mean, to uh, it's destroying his body, effectively. Shin's a grandpa. He, uh, his body is acting exactly as if he was like some ninety-year-old man, or oh. older, or much older. Jeez. And just it's like it's not willing to die, but it just keeps on getting older and older, and it's directly related to sort of how he's, his power. His power output is directly related to that. That's now, not good. In particular, I was able to get a feed off of what's corrupting it, that link, with that whatever that we saw. And if I'm around it again, I'll know it. And I might actually, with a little bit of time and effort, be able to trace that the, the, uh, can, the tether between the two of them. But I don't think that's anything we want to chase down anytime soon. But at least I'll know if it's around us. Uh, if we have a way to fix it, uh, then... Yeah, this is one of our projects. We'll, we'll help Shin. To be honest, we'll I had to... I had to put a little bit of myself back in... I put a little bit of myself, my... Of, of just my enthusiasm back into Shin, so he was a little bit better for a while. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's how long it's going to last, and I don't think I can do it all the time. But at least yesterday I was able to give him a little bit of a break from it. Yeah, she's a good boss. Like, how did you do that? Like, we tried, but he we gave him breakfast and everything. But I was able he, he, with my ability to manipulate, um, you know, sort of events around me, descriptors, environment, things like that, I was able to sort of push a little bit of myself, my enthusiasm into him, though it came at a cost to me. So, just, as I said, I don't uh, think I can keep it up. We will just hear Sax laughing in his head. Mm. Can I roll something to make him be uncomfortable? <laughs> Sax? <Jax>? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. So you just figured it out through Shin, through messing around with him? 
Wait, what was that? No, Kira's just like half asleep, following okay. the vlog. It's oh, supposed yeah, to Kira, what'd you say? Huh? Wait. You were no. talking out loud. Never mind. Got it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think we just kind of push that energy drink towards his Mm. Uh. Thanks. Still take some. Oh, crap. Hold on, we'll be right back. <laughs> I run quickly to um to Umbrahawk. Go uh, <laughs> real quick. I need our payment for Umbrahawk. Sorry, what did I oh, say? Oh yeah, our payment. He's supposed to pick that up. Yeah, I need uh, the payment for the team off of the Tuesday project. I give whatever code I was given. Oh, the morphing from Umbrahawk. Yeah. Right. I'll just make it up. Oh, no. Well, it'll be right. 200 per uh, rescue, so 600 Mecca. That's no, from, that's not from per... Umbrahawk. That's from, the... that's from Opus oh. Day. Sorry, I thought it was from, okay, then I got that one wrong, I then I didn't go to them. But you are right about Umbrahawk does give you compensation for more related activities. <laughs> yeah. So, since you stabilized, or well, you didn't really, you kind of sent it back off somewhere so it won't be as much as if you know but you did clear part of the first floor so uh you'll be yeah, soon. anyway i come back going uh sorry wrong i got it mixed up real quick <laughs> um i got a official invite um I got an official invite from Opus Day to come and sort of to come and basically click to, uh, pick up our um, payment as well as to meet those demons that we'd rescued. So it seems to basically be either um, it seems to be at our Euler's convenience, and I have the address here. I sort of put the card on the table, And then I, I guess any, the money I did give, I do pass around. And this is just our payment for dealing with mob business from Umberhawk. I pass that out. Oh. Is that per character?